here's the headphones for you. Yeah, we've been, uh, for some reason, the drug in me is usually stuck in our head, and we keep singing it, and we're like, that would be really embarrassing. I, I <laughs> just, like, just, walk on the bus, sing, and... I actually just listened to that song for the first time this week. If I sit on that side? No. Oh, no. so. no, it's good. <laughs> cool, man. Alright. So, were we waiting on anyone else or just me and you? Waiting for them to walk by. You gotta hurry up and walk by. So. Is Jackie over there? Yeah. Tell them Jackie. I mean, do we need to have spot? Do they want to be in the interview? They can if they want. You want them to, but yeah, I definitely. Don't, I don't want them to walk. I don't, I don't want them to walk by when you're you filming. Stay back it's it's no big deal. So, it's very laid back. I mean, won't do a little dance while they're going by. So, cool. Well, I'd rather it not. Yeah, this is very official. Oh, I'm sorry. Cool. Well, you ready to start? Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. In three, two, one. Oh, do you have the headphones Hold plugged on, in? One I would just rather start when it's not. Yeah, man. Meow. Meow. Grant, grant, meow. So, are you ready? All right, here we go. In three, two, one. Hey, what's up, you guys? We're hanging out again with Falling in Reverse lead singer Ronnie Radke. How you doing, man? Good. Episode two. Yep. Excited? Nope. I'm I'm not excited right now. Uh, there's nowhere I would rather not be. I'm excited. Super Bowl Sunday. That's right. We're doing this Super Bowl Sunday. The sacrifices I make for you, man. Why? What do you mean? Well, I have to drive during the Super Bowl, so. Oh, that's not a good thing, yeah. man. I've, well, I'm, I'm at your show instead of the Super Bowl, I guess. So it's kind of a sacrifice. Yeah. But, Who are you rooting for? Uh, Giants. I'm rooting for the Patriots. That makes us arch rivals. Uh. <laughs> so, well, hey, man. Um, let's see. A lot of our viewers wanted to kick off the interview with this. Would you be comfortable saying, hello, Thurman, it's your first day of school? <laughs> hello, Thurman, it's your first day of school. <laughs> did you realize that line would become so iconic when you did it? No. Mm -hmm. It was just a parody of a Van Halen video, and <clears throat> I didn't expect it to be like that. That's crazy. Yeah, man. It's, it's crazy the effect some things can have. So, yeah. um, What would you rate yourself on a scale of 1 to 10? As as in general, twenty. Wow. See, so you you you're twenty, huh? Yeah. What am I? You're ten. A ten. We're going like we're ten is right, one is the best and twenty is the worst, right? Uh, no. <laughs> no, actually, twenty. Twenty is the best. Twenty is the best. Mm -hmm. and ten is just average. Ten is the best. Okay. This doesn't make any sense. I have no <laughs> idea what's going on anymore. Um, what's the most random noise you can make right now? Um, um, I don't... <laughs> <clears throat> no, I'll go first, okay? okay. <laughs> what did you think of that? It's weird. Yeah. You're, you're fucking strange. I know. In, in the good okay. way. I'm strange, too, though. <laughs> I'm strange, too. You got a noise? Mm. Think of an animal. Can you meow? Meow. There you I go. I will amuse you. Meow. <laughs> meow, fucker. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a good animal. Um, let's see. Let's see. Who would you say, uh, I guess the rest of the band's not here, but who's the most feminine member of the band? Ryan Seaman. Yeah? Yeah. That's a great last name, I think. He's, yeah, for, <laughs> to be feminine too, right? That's right. He's uh, ridiculous. Yeah. Like, Lee fem feminine. Uh, he's just... Uh, he's that's why he's in the band, right? No, that's not why he's in the band. <laughs> <laughs> he's a drummer. Cool. Well, hey, just to sort of warm things up, would you, were you going to take a tour so take us on a tour of the bus? Did you want to do that real quick? Yeah, Get warmed, warmed up? up. All right. Well, let's see where we're going. As you can see, this... Actually, I'll unplug this real quick. All right. You want to film it? No, this good. thing pulls out. Okay. So you can see how spacious it is. 
See? This is a really nice bus, man. I know, because I'm rich. <laughs> <laughs> this thing pulls out, but you know, the refrigerator. Ooh. See? Oh. oh fruit snacks. Fruit snacks. Ooh, fruit snacks. You know. Crabs. Uh, got some cake in the freezer. What kind of cake is that? Uh, Reese's Pieces. Ooh. Reese's Pieces. Really there good. you go. These are the bunks, right? All right. I'm going to try and guess which one is yours. You ready? Try to guess, yeah. Nope. No, this one. Nope. This one. Nope. This one. Nope. This one. This one. Nope. This one. Nope. None. None? You don't have a. Oh! There you go. This is my bunk. The freaking Emperor's Tomb. I have a bed. I have a bedroom in my bus. And that's really cool. Yeah, man. I'm actually excited. So, tour life's not too bad for you, huh? No. Not at all. You ever have company? No, um, I'm waiting. I will have company soon. Mm -hmm. I'm very excited. So, what's in your room that we should check out? We got your Xbox got controller, Modern Warfare 3 controller, okay, hair stuff, hair stuff, straightener, Mac makeup. Wow. This book. What is this? Everybody book? loves you when you're dead. <laughs> by Neil Strauss. This is supposed to be one of, a very compelling book. What have you learned from it so far? I haven't started, I just got it. Okay. I got an electric toothbrush. Those are the best. A lighter for my candle. Where's my candle? You have a candle? Yep. <laughs> Gotta set the mood. Oh, do you sleep with a fan? I sleep with a fan. Dude, me too. I'm the same way. I High five on that. Fan. Yeah, dude. <laughs> and I, have, I have this um, clean air thing. Okay. Um, Jason. Uh, there you go. And uh, that's about it. And this bed. And, and you got your MacBook here. It's a really expensive MacBook. Oh, and then I've got all of this. Yeah, what's in your closet? My cool clothes. This red jacket. Wow. Okay. And do you shop at Express, it looks like? Yeah, just for the shirts. Yeah, I like their jeans. So yeah. I wear Express jeans. So. Yeah. And then, uh, Pretty much. But nothing to see here. Yeah, nothing right? to see here. And you have a landline phone. Does that ever ring? That's from the for the front of the bus for the captain for the. Uh, there you go. The driver. Randa, what do you think of his room? It's beautiful. It's beautiful. <laughs> and what uh, what do we watch on here usually? On uh, the TV? I just play video games. Okay, cool. Do you have internet? Yeah. All right. Traveling well, Wi-Fi. Maybe I'll uh, have to beach in Modern Warfare Modern three sometime. Modern Warfare three. Yeah. <laughs> so, very cool. Does this uh, does this feel like home to you? Yep, it does. It's very com very comfortable. Very comfortable. It's a very big deal when uh, it's a very big deal when you're able to live this country. Well, well, yeah, because I mean, being in a van. The first show, you were in a van, so yeah, I bet that was rough. Um, it wasn't rough. It was like a. I had the option, I had mm -hmm. the option to take either a bus or, or a, a sprinter van and for the first tour and my business manager would say, well, if you take a sprinter van, then you'll save $80,000 wow. in your bank account. So I took a sprinter van, the first bus saved a, a lot of money, you know. So it's, but now you can afford to <laughs> spend 80000 on the bus, right? Yeah, yeah, I can afford that. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> um, and by the way, they wanted you to do that crazy laugh whenever you want. Try the video. The one you... <laughs> How long <do> you want? <laughs> yes. Whenever you get a chance. <laughs> yeah, dude. That's, that's awesome. Um, it's kind of a you know interesting question, but do you remember back when you first started, when you were in Escape the Fate? Um, you know, what were those days like, and, and do you ever miss those days, I guess? Or do you prefer what you're doing now with Falling? I don't miss those days at all. It's crazy. You'd think I would, not even a little bit, because um, those days uh, the band wasn't as big. Mm -hmm. I wasn't having as much fun because I was always high or something, you know. And uh, the, the people I surrounded myself weren't the top-notch uh, people to have my back, and it was more of an enabling process of friendships that would enable me to um, go down the wrong path. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, now I'm having the time of my life were you popular in high school yeah, yeah. but I, it was 
I got picked on. I was too crazy. I, would, uh-huh. I, I used to act like Tom Green <laughs> and like jump into trash cans, and rap with all the Wait. black kids. You rapped with the black kids and jumped in trash cans. Mm-hmm. Ronnie Radke, ladies and gentlemen. Everybody, Not much has changed, right? <laughs> uh, no, everybody thinks I'm racist. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, why? I, I am. But, oh, yeah. but just kidding. No, I'm not I'm racist. Kidding. You know, for all the kids that think I'm racist, I'm not. I just like to joke around a lot. Yeah, me too. I'm a very serious person. Do you think I was popular in high school? Yes. Don't give him help. I think, uh, I don't know. Uh, I think, I don't know. I you hated see, high school. I think people picked on you. Yeah. I, <laughs> actually, yes, I, I had a rough, rough high school experience, but yeah. it made me a stronger person. It makes you have tougher skin. Yeah, and it makes you treat people better because you know what it's like to be yep. treated poorly. I was I was bullied too. Yeah. Well, I would try to make people laugh though, and it it kind of backfired on me. <laughs> like, like you tell a joke and like yeah. haha, cat in your mouth. Actually laughing at me, not with me, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, but now you know they're all still working at Smith's. Yeah. And I'm not. You got some little slightly cooler job. Um, what are your biggest turn-ons and turn-offs with women? What really gets your engine running? The women? Uh, intelligence. Intelligence? Obviously, they have to be beautiful, absolutely drop-dead gorgeous. But then yeah. intelligence, the first thing would be when I see them, they, they're drop-dead gorgeous. And then the second thing would be what comes out of their mouth. Mm-hmm. Like, they have to be very intelligent. There you go. They have to be smarter than me instead of... You know, I don't know. It's hard to explain. Intellectually challenging. You know? So you want someone who can sort of make you look s- s- like I have that too. I, I want to be. They, make, they can make me look stupid. <laughs> yeah. I'll Do like, my math homework for me. Yeah. Exactly. So. Exactly. Cool, man. Can you fake an accent? Right, right here, right. Oh, we, oh, I don't know. We did this earlier with another band. So let's pretend we're cowboys in the 1800s. You ready? Uh huh. How to partner? Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, I see speech speech problems still going on there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we don't fall off our horses. Um, it's true. You don't want to fall off your horse because I don't how's, know. How's how's thunder the horse doing? Um, I don't know. Um, are you coming down to the creek later to play some creek th- you games? Sound, you sound like you. Just with like a horse throat. Okay. Should I ch- <laughs> Would you like to come down to the creek later? You sound Japanese. I actually was Japanese. Oh. Konnichiwa, boku wa budai, anata wa? Koma stars. Oh. Uh, muy bien, you too? Panini bread, yes. Panini bread. Yes. I speak like a little bit of four languages, so. Yeah. <laughs> panini, panini sandwiches sounds. Um, <laughs> panini sandwiches. Sounds. Uh, Sounds sounds delicious. Ronnie, would you please uh, compliment me in a high-pitched feminine voice? And I'll return the favor. <laughs> um, I don't know. No. Ronnie, I really think your hair looks great today. <laughs> I like your Boy Meets World haircut. Thanks. I've been working on it for a world of a time. <laughs> I, I like your tattoos. They're so pretty. These suck. They have terrible tattoos. Like, seriously, a six tentacled po- octopus. Yeah, can you zoom in on that? Wow. So, hey, let me get an octopus on my arm. Cool. Years later, I, I come to find I count the tentacles. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> Thanks, who did that? Do you remember who did it? No, I was oh. too high. I don't remember anything from my so, past. Do you not like these anymore? Like, do you wish they weren't there? Oh, I love these. This. I don't okay. like fucking Cran McGee right here. What is this? <laughs> I don't I like, even know. I like this. Wow. Is this that is an a owl just sort of popping out of your chest right now? All of this. All of that. Wow. And, um, it's like this and like that and like this and, uh... You like it like that? Mm-hmm. Windows down? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you know that song? Uh, Mest? What is it's, that? No, it's, uh, I like it like that. Hey. It's by... Uh, never mind. It's on the radio right now. Okay. You just had to take my word for Give it. Give me that magazine, please. This one? <gasps> oh, I did see you on the cover of this recently. Everybody go buy this this month. This is coming out this month, right? Yeah. I got it already, so it's already in stores. Go buy this. Yeah. 
This is the highest sold AP in the last two years. Congratulations, man. I'm really stoked. It's going to be awesome. That's there's a really good picture of you. There's three different covers, and there's a poster inside. Uh, it's not in this one. I pulled it out, gave it to somebody. but. <laughs> Congratulations, man. Yeah, I'm going to be in the next one, I think. Really? Well, maybe. That'd be cool. If you put in a good word for me. Okay, I will. Do you think I should be? Uh, Brian give, Stars. I think you should give it a, give another eight months, and I think you'll be starting to do that. Okay. Eight months? For real. Eight All months. right, eight months, man. All right. I think eight months, and I think you're building this little, you're building something, you know. Yeah, man. Well, if we keep it up, so. Um, let's see. How much muscle have you gained? I mean, you've been working out, right? Yeah. Are you uh, ripped as yes. hell now? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously. Yeah, I I, uh, I do I do a lot of working out, like um, like 175 pounds. Me too. When I got out of prison, I was 100 and like 60, 155, 60 pounds. So. Wow. So you've really beefed up from the old days, huh? Yeah, I think I feel like I just have to present myself a little bit different nowadays. Um, I don't want to talk about it too much, but. On New Year's, you tweeted that you were going to stop uh, hating on Craig. Um, I guess, have you forgiven them? Or um, what What was the point of that tweet, I guess? I tried to, but then um, he got on stick cam with uh, attack crap or whatever they're called and started talking. <laughs> attack crap. Started talking crap about me after I did that for him. Again? Yeah. So. And then, like... Um, so like I just really gave up. Now I really don't give a fuck. So. so is it safe to say you don't really like him very much? No, because I when I when, when I reach my hand out for you know to you know help him out of his grave he's already dug. He um, he slaps it in my face, throws it in my face. So I'm not gonna really go there anymore. I'm not gonna try to reach my hand out. Do you want that whole situation to be resolved or? I tried to, yeah. yeah. I, try, I, I went on Twitter and I said the things I said, you know. But uh, he went, got on stick cam with Attack Attack singer and then some dude that was in a band that nobody knows about uh, and or much less nobody cares about and started talking shit about me. It's funny because if I seen him face to face, like, I would throw him across the parking lot. And they wouldn't say shit to my face, but, but you know, they like to get behind their cameras, on their stick cams, and talk all this shit about me. After I reach my hand out, try to try to, you know, I was just trying to be nice, man. Yeah. You know, I would really legitimately was trying to resolve all this. These kids talking all this shit about them on my Twitter. That's all I see. I, I saw that a lot. So, and then he, right after that, he does that. So it kind of angers me, you know. Mm -hmm. Got a little anger towards that. Yeah, it's not it's not fun when you're nice to someone. I mean, you know, like yeah. I said, people were mean to me when I was a kid, and I guess even as an adult, people can be mean to you. So, yeah. I think yeah. it's a little bit of the jealousy issue mm -hmm. that's going on right now. Because you're doing really well. I'm so happy about that, man. I, yeah, dude. I think I mean that says a lot how how big you've gotten so quickly. I think it's uh, the radio the radio I'm so glad that we're starting to get accepted the radio and um, and just I've seen sh the whole tour sold out that's so crazy man There's, these are bigger rooms from the last tour and it's all sold out wow. you know um, except for with one exception of one show in Dallas well, it was a first uh, it's a school night the first night back to school There's still a lot of people there but it's pretty cool so I gotta go back to this did did you say you would throw Craig across a parking lot? Yeah. <laughs> you really think you could do that? I'd throw you've been you've really been working out, huh? Damn. A couple <laughs> a couple car spaces, I think. Yeah. I, I work out too. You uh, do? Yeah. I just like my body doesn't really work for you just because you got, <laughs> people out there. See that? Yeah. You, yeah. You gotta flex like more. <laughs> like this. There you go. Yeah. That's yeah, pretty tight. Yeah. Nice. He's like, yeah, it's, it's like when you tell a kid his drawing's good and it's like not even good. So. <laughs> it's okay though. Um, <clears throat> what song would you like to be playing at your funeral? Um, um, Mamma Mia? 
Uh, <laughs> so that's like a stump question. There's so many songs. I don't know. Like a, a pop song that'd be kind of funny to play, maybe. Or like Highway to Hell. Highway to Hell. Please. Fitting, you think? Yeah. Yeah. I'm on a high. Yeah, it'd be I'll sing it for you at the at your funeral <laughs> if I'm not, if I'm not dead. I told my friend Mitch uh, to show up to my funeral in a, a death suit, like he's dressed as death. Like mm. that'd be hilarious. Could you imagine if just death walked into my funeral, sat Dude, down on your coffin? My dad would be pissed, but <laughs> but it would be really funny. And he just starts pointing at people in the crowd. Um. That would be funny. What's your favorite uh, position? Um, I like to outfield positioning. Oh, okay. What What are you talking about? Cowgirls. You talking Reversing. About you know what? You're talking about sex? <laughs> Maybe. This is that's weird. It I is. Don't, I don't think I should answer that. I'll answer it for you. I'm just keep it. Uh, it's a secret. <laughs> There's a mystique. I'll keep the mystique, mystique. on. I've had lots of practice, and you know, I like them all. I, I'm gay. Oh, well, there are quite a few new positions for you to try out. Then <laughs> I'm not gay. I'm just kidding. But yeah. um, but I he don't, was. I was. He was. Mm-hmm. Not anymore. Not anymore. Deep stuff with Ronnie Racky. <laughs> um, what is one thing you've learned from touring? Uh, well, I guess in your. Oh wait, go ahead. Yeah. Uh, what were you going to say? I was just going to say maybe maybe when you were in Escape the Fedor and Falling in Reverse, but either one. What, what have you learned from being on the road and doing this for a living? Oh, watch watch your, uh, watch your where your money's going. Mm-hmm. All the money goes directly to me now. Before, like in my other band, uh, I haven't seen one royalty check. I haven't seen anything. Merch, nothing. No one, they have not given me any money. And they owe me a lot of fucking money. So just watch where your money's going. Because the older you get, the more you start realizing that you needed to survive. And you can't have motherfuckers stealing your money. And that happens a lot in this industry. And if you're touring, just you'll grow to learn that the hard way or the, the easy way or the hard way. So Yeah, man. Jeez, I've, I'm, I'm, in your shoulder, man, you all right? I'm, yeah. Yeah, you seem like you keep getting screwed over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, my past, right? Yeah. That's well, right. no, I mean, just you getting your your royalties taken. And my royalties taken. That's about it. That's all. That's all I'm gonna that's say. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Look at my little tear right here. Oh, there is a tear. Oh. Um. What do you think it is about your story that is so compelling to fans, and you know the fact that you you know you being on the cover sells all those magazines. I mean, what, what is it about it that makes, that intrigues people? I think it's just like America, this Amer- the American dream, the American story. Mm-hmm. Someone gets to the, almost to the top and they get slammed back down mm-hmm. only to be brought back up. That's the American way of life. That's mm-hmm. like that what we do as Americans to people in the, um, in the, uh, camera's eye or whatever you would yeah. say like any type of celebrity you would you like to bring them up you knock them down and then they come back like the underdog type thing i think it's just a compelling story to have you know it's kind of an interesting question do you think uh you're ever cocky or maybe a little bit arrogant mm-hmm. of course that's why i'm a lead singer um, so you need good. a little bit of that yeah well, you have to be if you're like bashful and weird like I mean, not weird, because I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm weird too. But you gotta have a little bit of a, a little bit of an ego to, go get on stage every night and have the, the enough confidence to, uh, perform. There's slight ego there. Yeah. I, I mean, I sing about it, but that's a tongue-in-cheek way of looking at it, though. But. Um, Is it ever getting you into trouble? <laughs> I mean, yeah. A few times. Yeah. Yeah. You you're, you you get in trouble on Twitter sometimes, don't you? Yes, I do. I just can't keep my mouth shut. I just talk a lot of shit, but I can back it up too, though. I'm not just talking this shit. I'll back it up. He'll throw you across a fucking parking lot. <laughs> I shouldn't. You know, I'm done with talking shit to people on Twitter for no reason. It's ridiculous. I need mittens for my hands, like metal mittens. <laughs> I I need to stop. I'll doing just it. hold on to your phone for you. How about yeah. that? For reals. <laughs> 
I know, man. I, I, I'm not going to do that anymore. All nice Twitter, Twitter uh, tweets. Say something nice to me right now that you would say on Twitter. At Brian Stars. Thanks for the nice interview, Brian. Once again, um, all the best in the future. 2012 is your year. Right back at you. You're cool too. No, I'm just kidding. Ronnie, you're a great singer. You have really cool tattoos. And then I would say, I know, because I'm arrogant and cocky. And then I'd be like... But my tattoos suck, though. <laughs> That's right. Um, if you were an STD, what would you be? I'd be herpes, because I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> but then you leave, and then you, you come back. Exactly. You never know when I'm leaving, and you never know when I'm going to come back. <laughs> you just disappear There's right now. you can do to get rid of me, either. I just leave when I want. And returns with a vengeance. And returns with a vengeance. He's like a drug that's inside of you. In me is you. Wait. You could probably get it from a vampire. I feel like one sometimes, but I'm not one. It happens to people who are raised by wolves. I don't got nothing for that one. I think I, don't, I can't think of any more song titles. <laughs> These situations just don't work for me. They're irrelevant now. <laughs> um, Let's see. Show me, oh, this is, this is hilarious. Every time I've done it, it's been great. Show me your, um, like, let's say you see some hot chick just right there. Mm -hmm. Say Miranda right there. Okay. Make your creepy, so, not creepy, but kind of like your seductive, like, I want your body face. You ready? Yeah. I'm going to do it with you. So here we go. Ready? Go. Go. Is he doing it? I wasn't looking. What did you do? Uh, just, <laughs> did do you do it, it? Do it again. Ready to go. Okay, okay. Go. Look away, then you gotta look. <laughs> I was just making a straight face while you did it. Oh. Well, that's not fair. Okay, now now I'm gonna watch you. You have to do one creepy or er, seductive face. You ready? Go. It's just like just I don't know. That's a weird question to ask. I don't know. Just like me. Mm. <laughs> 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 that'd be weird, huh? <laughs> yes. Yeah, that'd be yeah. weird. I do that sometimes. Um, <laughs> Describe. <laughs> so these are the sexual part of the question. Describe your manhood with one of your song titles. Is there one that you think would fit? Raised by wolves. <laughs> 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 Ew, I'm bestiality. Yeah. Uh, the drug in me is you. Mm. I don't know. Because yeah, that would work. Um, caught like a fly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trapped. <laughs> tragic magic. Ooh, tragic magic. Mm -hmm. There you go. Um, let's see, someone was really curious about this. When you were in prison, what was like a typical day like for you? Like, from I guess morning till night I just um, wake up and then turn the TV on and then make coffee and then do a whole bunch of push-ups you actually had like a coffee and TV in your room mm -hmm. okay and a little uh, the TV show was on usually. I, I would, in the mornings I would just watch like the daily or what was it what was that show called <sighs> with what's her name those two girls uh, the morning show not that good you know, morning talk. America not good. Is it Good Morning America? With they had to. Is it a news show? It's, it's old. It's been around for a while. Was it news though? No news. Like was it like news? It's like a black girl and a and a white girl. They're older. Oh yeah. Good Morning America. Dude, that's what I watch every day. What? Yeah. She like drinks wine while she talks. Maybe. I, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Is is it a news show though? It's old. Oh, it's an old. It's show. just. It's been running for a long time. Oprah. I watch Oprah too, and Ellen. I love and Ellen. Doctor Oz. Doctor Oz. You know, uh, you were like a daytime soap opera dude. What else the fuck? What the fuck am I gonna do? Yeah, I guess. Can't go to the Seven Eleven. Yeah. You know dude. what I mean, dude? Yeah. So I gotta watch some fucking Oprah Winfrey. That's right. Sad to see her go though. She's gone now. Yeah. She's on a new. She's got a new show now though. You still got Ellen though. Still got Ellen. Still got Ellen. Great. And you did push-ups, huh? Did a whole bunch of push-ups, uh, and wrote a whole bunch of songs and. Um, just pretty legitimately just had just a great time <laughs> sounds like it can't wait to go back <laughs> mm -hmm. one of my friends uh, had to go to detox and it was funny 
when he left because he had to spend the night there they asked him to rate his stay like almost like a hotel like really yeah and like comments like what was your favorite part of your time here that's crazy so yeah i guess they might have sort of done that with you huh no. <laughs> thanks for your stay ronnie yeah that's, that's actually crazy to actually do that yeah um let's see you know what falling in reverse i have to say it's a very cool name but real quick i thought it'd be cool to kind of make up a new one just for fun so we're just gonna go like just add the next word until we find one we like you ready so i'll be like (sighs) sexy please text me sexy please text me Mm -hmm. that's a good one let me do one more you ready Mm -hmm. that's one that's a dancing with wolves (laughs) Dancing with wolves while texting. Oh. <laughs> Dan- <laughs> Dancing with wolves, the movie, soundtrack, band. <laughs> Can you please make that a song on your new album? It'll make my life. With Kevin Costner will be on the track, too. Okay. Just like the movie. I can rap in part of it, sort of like Lil Wayne. <laughs> Dancing with wolves. Dancing with the wolves, y'all. Yep. I got some, <laughs> yep. I got some rap. I got some rap. I rapped with uh, Deuce from the sing- old singer. Oh, yeah. What's, what are you doing with Deuce? A lot of people want to know. It's a song coming out called Nobody Likes Me. Uh, it's That's about my favorite out. song. <laughs> it's about to come out, for real. It's about, I got it right here on my phone. I'll show you when the camera's mm-hmm. off. All right. But uh, it's about to come out. You may hear me rapping. You and Deuce have a lot in common, don't you? Mm-hmm. Except I went to prison. Yeah. And but you were both backstabbed, kind of. Yeah, I've heard his story. He told me, and it's really fucked up what they did. But now look at him. Look at HU now. <laughs> his new music video is pretty intense. You should have been in it. I haven't seen it. Oh, there's like... It's just literally a giant orgy. Really? With Deuce in the middle, yeah. It looked like they needed more guys there. No, no, so. no. That's great. I was oh invited, God. but... I want to go... We want to go together? I'm going to ask him why he didn't let me, let me go with him. Why, why didn't you invite me to your orgy? <laughs> Deuce, man. <laughs> well, come on, man. Um, let's see. What's the worst piece of advice you've ever gotten? Um, hey, man. It's going to be all right when I uh, went to jail. It wasn't? It was great. Not all right. I can't believe they would do that. They got my hopes down, and then I got there, and I was, like, stoked. It was so fun. Riots, shanks, black people, Mexicans, cops. Who doesn't want to go to prison? Did you ever get recognized in prison? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Really? Mm-hmm. How was that? They were like, dude, it's Ron- Ronnie. My daughter loves you. Can you sign this? Uh, in prison? Can you, can you sign this shank so I can send it home to my daughter? Not really, <laughs> but... No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but there was a couple of people that would say, can I? Can you sign this um, piece of paper for my daughter? She loves you. She knows that you're on your way here and, you know, stuff like that a couple times. Did you ever fear for your life in prison? Oh, yeah, it's scary. Sometimes it could be scary, you know, uh, but, I, yeah. I guess it really toughens you up, though. Like, now, nothing scares you. Like, right now, I could, like, look like I'm going to punch you and you wouldn't even be scared. I would not be scared, no. Most people would be. I like I like pain. Um, pain is great. <laughs> he likes it rough. <laughs> when I do it, it doesn't work. <laughs> it's okay though. I should just like. It sounds like I'm panting or something. <laughs> uh, where do you see yourself in thirty years, man? Thirty years. Um, um, still doing better than Craig. <laughs> oh, really? Think so? doing better never mind i'm just gonna keep that all right we'll keep it we'll keep it at that so but um i mean do you think you'll still be doing music i just believe in i believe that um bands don't have substance anymore there's no substance there's no story everything sounds exactly the same and it only leaves more room for the people that actually stand out to become iconic or become another Ozzy or become another Dio or become another crew you know it's just like 
if you think of it, I'm not going to name any band names, but if you think of some of these bands, they're not going to, you don't look into the future and be like, yeah, that band's still going to be touring in 10 years on Crew Fest or something. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. there's just no substance anymore. Everything sounds identical and there's no genuine lyrics anymore. Everybody's too scared to say what they really feel. I think that's, or they're not just not good enough to express it in lyrics. Do you think you can pull off this look in 30 years? This look? Uh, yeah. I think this, I'm just wearing all black right now before the show. Yeah. But I mean, yeah, I'll just have a little bit shorter hair maybe. Maybe not, who knows. By the way, I tried to, uh, someone sent me eyeliner the other day mm -hmm. and I put it on for the first time mm -hmm. and I looked like a raccoon. Uh, it's because you did it wrong. I'll show you how to do it. It's you weird. Do it today? Before, yeah, we I mean, before the interview? We'll do yeah. it. Maybe. Okay, that'll be like the bonus feature. Well, Watch Ronnie. I'll wear it all the way home for you. Okay, we're going to show you how to put on eyeliner. All right, we'll come back and to that. And make a end. shank. I'll show you how to make a shank, too. <laughs> wow, you're going to learn so much today. Make a shank out of this fucking remote. Make a shank out of this simply orange bottle. You can. You actually can. Really? Dump this stuff out, right? Okay. And then you got to get something that's like a fire going. Okay. So and start a fire? And then you melt this to where it and it starts melting and then you roll it while yeah. over the fire to where it becomes like this twisty stick thing and then you just twist it and then you put it in the water oh put God. it and you put it in water and then it's one long sharp sickle and then you could kill somebody with a simply orange you don't want to do that but just in case you need to kill someone yeah <laughs> just we got you covered <laughs> here on Brian stars <laughs> Just in case you don't like your orange juice. Yeah. You know? But you learn stuff in prison that's retardedly, I don't know how, there's survivors in there, I guess. That's just what you learn. Um, I know you, you hate Craig, but do you ever miss, like, your old bandmates, like maybe Max? Or I don't hate, I don't hate Craig, I don't. Okay. I don't hate him, I'm just disappointed in um, how he goes about um, certain things. I, I just wish he would be a little bit more... You know, yeah. Like I, I, I reached my hand out to him to try to resolve this situation. And are irrelevant now. You know. Yeah. And um. Didn't <laughs> randomly burst into song. <laughs> <laughs> I reached my hand out to resolve these things, and he slaps me in my face about it. So yeah. I guess you know, let bygones be bygones, and what will happen, we'll see what happens. I guess you know. But, do, I mean, do you ever miss, like, Max or any of the other band members? No. Anymore. Robert especially, no. No fucking way. Mm. People that hang out with that guy know why. So, I, you know, I mean, shouldn't be talking shit, but people want to know, you know? That guy sucks. <laughs> He's fucking terrible, dude. <laughs> I'm, telling, I'm just being honest, man. He's fucking... Go check his Twitter bio. <laughs> Go check it. <laughs> you're probably following me because you're a fan. Otherwise, we'd be friends on Facebook. That's all you need to know. Come on, man. Yeah. How do you feel about your fans? Do you really... Tr oh. Are they fam... Excuse me, I'm burping. Are, you, are they family to you? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My fans are fucking crazy. I love them. Nuts. They go ballistic. They fucking don't care who's watching them when they're dancing if I can rock my bus screaming it's trying to scratch me and it's crazy I have so much fun yeah I just, I just love my fans great great people what's your douchiest characteristic um right now this right here no my douchiest is when I I um like when I get angry mm -hmm. when things aren't right I pay people I pay people money to do things right and when it doesn't turn out right then I get a little bit douchey I'll do my best on this interview man you better no, you paid no. me a million dollars no it's just like with any it goes with anything when you're paying somebody to do something and they don't do it right you're gonna get a little bit angry you know um by the way this is just a pretty random thing but are you sure you're not a vampire no you kinda I feel like <laughs> one sometimes though you feel like one yeah, I'm not a vampires everywhere. Yeah, no. I loved that music video, by the way. Which one? I'm not a vampire. Thank you very yeah. much. It's a, uh, 
uh, total uh, celebrity rehab spoof thing. <laughs> yeah, I loved it. It was very, it was very creative. So, um, a couple more here. I don't think nobody did this last time. As Falling Universe has become as well known as it has, is there a misconception about it? I guess. Um. Well, what you see is what. What you see is what you get, I guess. That's all That's all it is. What you see is what you get. There's no, like, underhanded secrets. Like, I, maybe that's my problem, is that I say, I just say too much. No filter. I need to relax a little bit. Do you have, like, a, a warm-up that you do? And, like, maybe I could try and do it with you? A warm-up? Yeah. Like, what do you do to get sort of ready for... Oh! Do I do that? I'll like arch the back. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm, yeah. How many times do you do that? Do that for like 30 minutes. All right, let's do it. <laughs> or- <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay. Vocal warm ups. There you go. How'd I do? You did good. Thanks, man. So did you. I know. I know, see, there's the cockiness. Well, I I was like, yeah, I know, I did good too. Yeah. Um, kind of random question. Belly button in or out? Any. Any? Mm-hmm. Any. Winnie, any. Of course. Winnie, any. Good. Me too, actually. Any. Yeah. 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 It's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think you're a good role model? I don't try to be a role model, but I think that it just happens nowadays. And I think that it, it works. Um, on some levels, we know. get uh, we get kids all the time. I say kids because I'm like 20, but we get people all the time saying that like you really inspire them. You know. I hope I can. I I want to inspire everyone that I can that uh, to go in a the direction, a positive direction. Don't do drugs, obviously. Don't you don't have to get wasted. You don't have to blah blah blah. You know, mm-hmm. you've heard this story a thousand times. If you know, but if you're out there and you're a kid and you're getting picked on in school and you want to be popular so you start doing drugs with the cool kids that is not the way that is not the answer yeah because in the long run it'll catch up to you yeah can you speak any other languages mm-hmm. any uh, like if i were to say como es well i guess we did a little bit so. yeah yeah i don't i don't really know I'm, yeah konnichiwa um, boko did okay. i tell you i'm japanese yet I'm not. I think I did. I'm bisexual, not bilingual. Oh, me too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, <just kidding>. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trisexual. <laughs> oh, think about it. I'm thinking about it. There's a visual for you. And you like animals? No. Close. Plants. People that look like animals. Or oh, so plants. That doesn't make sense. Plants. I love plants. <laughs> I love plants too. I just love to be around trees and. <laughs> I love plants. I love grass. I love mowing the lawn. This is a fun one. Speaking of bisexual, what is the gayest moment you've ever had in life? Maybe this, a fun one. This one time I had sex with this dude. <laughs> <laughs> what was his name? Uh, I read this. this uh, um, no. The gayest moment I've yeah. ever had? I don't know. It could be like you saw a shirt and you just like you know oh my god yeah <laughs> I don't know that's a weird question it is mm, not um, a whole lot of those no. good company um sorry it's okay no problem what Disney princess would you get with if you could Bell I don't know yeah the, the you have to deal with the beast then I am the beast. I'm a beast. I'm a beast, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I could see you being the beast. Yeah, I think the misconception about me is I'm just arrogant, cocky prick. I'm arrogant, and cocky, but I'm a nice guy though. He is. He's always yeah. been nice to me. I could be a nice guy, you know, but I can be an asshole just like everyone else. Everyone else, like a lot of people, like throw their throw these names at me and call me all these bad names all the time and um, 
people, you, what's people, the, what have they called you? People call me murderer. Like they, they uh, like you're a murderer. Like they'll come to my show, and then like I won't come out of the bus because it's raining outside, and there's like a puddle around where I have to step, and I have no shirt on, and it's I have wet hair, so I don't want to come off the bus yet. So they'll go on Twitter and say, I went to your show and you didn't come out. You're a murderer. Like, like it's like this generation gap. Yeah, kind of, yeah, there's a little... There's, there's a generation <laughs> gap, man. Like, when I when I was growing up, I wouldn't I wouldn't do that, you know? We wait outside your show. You didn't come out. Just, you like poodles. Exactly. It doesn't make sense. Does, that doesn't make sense, no. I just want fans to know that um, I'm sorry if I didn't sign every single one of your guys' um, shirts and it's not per- anything personal so I apologize if I can't sign all your shirts this is a fun one um, I'm going to mime an animal you're going to try and guess what I am you ready oh, can you hold this real quick elephant <laughs> that was good man That was. I gave it away huh well, either, either that or you're, you're a retard. One or the other. <laughs> uh, that's terrible. It's true, though. It's a joke. It's a joke. It's a joke. It's a joke. <laughs> Calm down. Can you do an impression of me, do you think? Can you pull it off? Yeah. Okay. I'll be you. Hey, I'm Ryan Stars. I just want to let everybody know that I'm here with Ronnie Radke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that is me right now. I throw people across <laughs> I will. No, I never said I. I did. I said I will. I will. Um, my name is Brian Stars. I. I don't know. Dang it! <laughs> now I'm gonna be like self-conscious about this. Seriously, um, name your gayest trait, and tell me why your favorite color is blue. Uh, my favorite color is blue because I'm being you, right? (laughs) (laughs) My favorite color is blue because, uh, it's so pretty. Um, and what was the, what was the other one? The girliest? Girliest feature, I don't know. The girliest feature is my eyeliner. But I do it well. I do it way better than Brian. You got me at a, exactly. I'm really good at it. I can actually show you a picture you want to see. Yeah. I, it looked like a terrible. <laughs> I'll put a picture up on so you guys can see too. This is me trying to be emo here in a second. All right, you ready for this? Let's see. Oh, there it is. <laughs> you look like a robber. A robber. <laughs> yeah. Well, I I was I did my best. I'm wearing an arrow postal an arrow postal shirt though. So. That's cool though. Yeah, man. I can pull it off, right? You look like a robber. Thanks. Is that a compliment? <laughs> Hope so. You guys, by the way, you caught me at a bad time. I'm really tired right now. You're doing great, man. I'm, I'm very sorry. Proud that, of you. Yeah, thanks. Uh, <laughs> can you say Iris Wishwatch five times in a row? Uh-uh. I know. I've already tried that. I can't do it. I can't. Iris Wishwatch. I can't do it one. Iris, <laughs> you failed already, dude. But you try it. Irish wristwatch. Irish wristwatch. Irish wristwatch. Irish wristwatch. You didn't do it. Uh, the Irish. Fail. Uh, this is a fun one. This is a fan one. Are you proud that you make straight guys go gay for you? I have no idea that that was even that it I was guess even that's happening. happening all over the world. That's crazy. Yeah. Uh, I am kind of proud. That's that is, that is something to be proud of. That's awesome. Um, or they're just gay and they just my, I'm an excuse for them to come out of the closet. That's right. It's acceptable to be gay for you. It should be because <laughs> if you're gay and you're and you're in high school, uh, you know, don't let people pick on you for it. Just be yourself. Yeah. Uh, grandma Stars, my grandma, she's actually a big fan. Did you know that? I didn't know. Really? It's kind of creepy, yeah. That's actually pretty cool. Grandma Stars, yeah. Grandma True Stars. True story. <laughs> you should look her up sometime. <laughs> <laughs> she's on YouTube. That's yeah. awesome. I want to see. She carries a knife. She carries a knife? Yep. She wears, um, I'm not even making this up. This is a true story. She wears like a, a Dallas Cowboys towel. <laughs> That's like it. Yeah, I'm not even kidding. You can go look it up. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's videos see. and st- there's a Twitter account called Grandma Stars. You can you can tweet it and she'll uh, she'll I'll definitely do that. Tell her she's beautiful. Okay. Actually, no, I hate her. Tell her she's, she needs to lose some weight. Okay. okay. Oh man. She's no. she's pretty mean. She hates me. She doesn't like you. Yeah. But I'm she's t- a fan of me. She's a fan of you. She hates me. She hates you. Yeah. Is that your? Real she wishes grandma? you. Yeah. No. She will sort of. 
she's like a, a character that I've created. But she does exist in my mind. Oh, it's you. Dressed as up. As a grandma. She dressed up. Okay, like man, grandma. I feel like an idiot right no, now. No, 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 I'm just playing. <laughs> so there's an actual grandma. No, 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 no. Well, we're trying to play along. It is a real person. Wink. Oh. Yeah. That's that's not a wink. That's that's you making a noise with your mouth. I get confused. You go like this. I meant to use my eye. <laughs> you what? <laughs> that's how I wink. Okay, sorry. Cool. No, no problem, man. I spoiled um, it. I spoiled it. You can just edit that out. No, it's you're you're good, man. <laughs> it was it was funny. I liked it. So, uh, what do you got coming up as we wrap it up here? Music videos, singles. What's going on? Can't talk about that, but there is one coming. There's two coming. There's two coming, or three before Warp Tour. Three new singles. Yeah, before the the there's a. Three new music videos? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm going to guess one of them is going to be Raised by Wolves. Dan no, it's going to be Dancing with Wolves, right? Dancing with Wolves. Okay. I can't, can't, can't comment on that. I'm not allowed, but... I'll take that as a maybe. Yes, maybe. No, the Dancing with Wolves, though. With Kevin Costner. With Kevin he's, Costner. In, he's actually in the music video. And I rap a little bit in it. Yep. So. There's a... I think that's it with that. I think that's it with that. Are you jealous of anyone in the band? Like, is there a trait from another band member that you like? I'm jealous of Jackie's guitar skills. He's not jealous. Good. I'm not jealous. It just, he's really good at guitar. Cool, man. Yeah, I think we did pretty much everything. So thank you so much, Ronnie Radke. Did you enjoy that? I'm going to just mimic you. Bye. Anyway, yep, see ya. Oh, you're going to teach me how to do eyeliner, right? What? You're what did you say? Eyeliner. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I saw what you were yeah, doing. Yeah, we're going to do some eyeliner right now. We're going to put some eyeliner on. Sorry I was so groggy in your interview. And, no, um, dude. You are great. You know, I'm, we, just, we just have a hard life on this really expensive bus. Life is so hard. You it know? It is. You know? God. Why God. is that so... Sorry. I'm I was copying you, remember? Okay. <laughs> we're going to do some eyeliner. I'm kind of scared. Guys. See you guys later. Uh, See you in like two minutes, actually. Two minutes, actually. We're going to do some <laughs> eyeliner. Okay. And I wasn't littering your bus. It's <sighs> okay. That much. All for show. <laughs> Is this still recording? Yeah. All right, well. Ronnie. I'm not going to put it on for you. You're going to put it on for yourself. Oh, okay. I'm going to show you how to do it. All right. Okay, grab it. Okay. Go like this. Okay. Take your eye, Take lay, your... like this, uh -huh. pull down, okay. and write the side of this on the lid of your eye, the bottom lid of your eye. Okay. Oh, God. See that? Gently. Right there? Yep. Keep going. Your lid, the lid lid, the lid. See it? All of it. A little bit faster. <laughs> okay. Speed up the process, motherfucker. <sighs> God damn it. Just kidding. See? There you go. Keep going. You gotta get the whole oh God. under the top. Yes. No, the lid. Look at my oh. lid. So oh, my there's lid. your lid. There's your lid. Okay. There's my lid to my vagina. I have a vagina. Lid. A hood. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the things Ronnie said. <laughs> yep. Alright. That's Let me close see. Enough. Let me see. Um, Let's no, see no, it. no. Pull your eyelid down. Okay. Okay. <laughs> like a raccoon. Look how now, big it is. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta. Yep. There you go. Now, okay. Do the, move on to the next eye. Okay. 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 Yeah, we're not. We're in a hurry. You gotta. No, 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 no. No, no, no. the lid. Don't the be lid. afraid. <laughs> the lid. Don't be afraid of the lid. <laughs> I just want to die. Put the lid on. Put your. The I mean, lid. Put the goddamn lid. On. <laughs> okay. Okay. It's I'm really like a, not I'm that like complicated. Coach Wembley. Put the lid on, motherfucker! <laughs> yeah! That looks good. That looks great. You wanna look like a girl? Go right ahead. No, 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 uh -oh. no, no. Uh -oh. Now. Oh, okay, okay. Now, under the eyelid. It's uh -huh. really not complicated. Under the eyelid. Uh huh. Draw under the eye, right where. You, I can't explain. <laughs> Let me watch the show. I already have some on. <gasps> now you'll have extra. <laughs> Extra on, just in case. Please. I'm gonna get some weird looks on the way out. Oh yeah. See, look. Okay. Like the lid, see. All right. Huh? The lid. See, and you put on the lid. The lid. And you go like this. See, look. 
Oh, I get it. God. Yeah, it definitely helps to have someone do it. See? It's not complicated at all. I can do this. I can do this. I do it every day. I just need to have <laughs> positive thinking. Okay. I can do this. Oh, All right. Beautiful. Well, that kind of worked. Not really. Yep. Good. Sort of good. All right, last one on this side. Uh, <laughs> this is kind of a failure, I think. You just wouldn't look good with makeup on. Ah, there we go. I'm just gonna... There you go. It's close enough. You look, it's my first you look, time. You look terrible with makeup on. Thank you. <laughs> you look... You look... Ladies and gentlemen, just step back real quick. Who do you think looks better? This guy. I'm this sexy blue ball of joy. Or this other guy. <laughs> Alright, man. Thank you so much. I'll do better next time, I promise, all right? No, it's me, it's me, I'm a little tired. It's okay, yeah. any any last words? I just wanna let everybody know that I love everybody that's been so loyal to me. Thank you guys. And subscribe to both of us at Brian Stars and com and and that is good. And get ready for number three someday, huh? Number three. Next time we're gonna be wearing zebra outfits. Uh. <laughs> Ryan here is trying to yeah, teach me how to get off this so wonderful yeah, eyeliner. All right, so as you can see, he made a mess of his face a little bit. Mm -hmm. First time putting on the eyeliner. Can't blame a guy for trying. I did try. So we're going to get some wet wipes. Wet wipes? Or wet ones. If you don't have any wet ones, then you're kind of out of luck. Or you can use like a paper towel. Shut up, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> that isn't a joke, by the way. So here you go. So take it, take it on your... Yeah, just keep going. Okay. You can take this one, too. Okay. You almost have it all. I think we're going to do it for me. So All right. Before and after. There, Boom. now you look better. You look good now. Thank you. Yeah, I appreciate you it. All right, guys. Yeah, All universe, out. thank you so much. Don't worry, there's plenty more where that came from. Come with me behind the scenes, backstage, and onto the tour bus to meet your favorite stars. Hey, what's up you guys? We're hanging out here with Asking Alexandria, the very tired all-time low. You're hanging out here with Black Veil Brides. I'll ask questions you've never heard before and get you the answers you won't find anywhere else. You said you're a Justin Timberlake fan. No. No? No. Maybe that wasn't you? Oh my god, I shouldn't have smoked all that weed. How long is this nose you have here? I have no idea. Happy so birthday, dear Bri. I am a ninja. You need to know. Oh. If you were a porn star, what would your name be? Mine would definitely just be the Jackhammer. <laughs> <laughs> Our new song, you know, right? Uh, party like it's. Oh, God, oh, God. Like my balls, yeah. You guys see my balls? You know, and they're like, wee! <gasps> All right. <laughs> I'm like crying. He's crying. Thumbs up, comment, and subscribe for brand new videos every day. Reporting for YouTube, I'm Brian Stars. Brian Stars! Brian Stars! I'm the reason you're, you go on tour. You're the reason I'm here, baby.